What's going on guys, Manny here, back with another quick video for you guys. As you all know, the Team Rocket Invasions are now live in Pokemon Go. So as soon as I heard that uh, they were live, I immediately went out and tried to look for a uh, Team Rocket stop, basically. So as you can see here, um, you see that Poke stop there is kind of glitching out a little bit. That is what is, that's what it's going to look like um, from afar, and it won't actually turn black and have the Team Rocket symbol over it until you physically walk up to the Poke stop. So unfortunately here, um, I was in a bad area where my signal wasn't the greatest and um as you can see it's going to take a while for it to register and then after you spin the stop your team leader is going to show up and kind of talk to you about why the stop is being so weird and then after this my screen recorder ended up crashing so i had to go and actually look for another um poke stop that the grunt was standing next to as you can see the grunt's going to be standing right next to the poke stop and after that she's going to give you some dialogue and then you're going to actually go into the battle and it is a master league battle so i just recommend going in basically with you know your your highest CP Pokemon, um, obviously not being Slack off Slack off, or Slacking. Slacking's not the best choice, but it's it is a Master League battle. Um, even though as you can see, she starts off with a Squirtle. Um, the Squirtle is obviously going to be the lowest CP, and it gets higher. Um, the, the CP gets higher for the, the Pokemon she uses. So, as you can see, that Squirtle is actually doing a decent amount of damage to my Mewtwo here, and it just works out like a normal battle, like you do for Great Ultra or Master. Uh, works just normally like that and then she's going to bring out a marsh tom here but you can see the cp is now 3601 so their cps are actually going to be significantly higher um for each pokemon they bring out so again we're just gonna go ahead and just finish off this marsh tom clink then she's going to bring in a swampert with a cp of 6019 and yeah the swampert is going to hurt as well so but yeah it just works again like a normal battle um and i what i did find out as well after the battle you actually do have to go in and heal whatever Pokemon you were using. Like my Mewtwo here, I found out afterwards that the Mewtwo actually, his health is going to stay the same. So you do have to use potions. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, but if it is, um, just remember to heal up your Pokemon afterwards before you go on to another one. So you can see I do have a 2 of 10 now for the new uh, Team Rocket Invasion Medal. And uh, yeah, so as you can see on the screen there, the rewards act just like the raids. You get Premier Balls for the uh, amount of damage you do, I believe, the number of Pokemon you have, and then the progression for your metal and then obviously the purification of the pokemon which uh, we will get more information on i don't know exactly how the how it counts the purify um for the premier balls you get but yeah so as you can see him catching the squirtle so i believe you catch the first pokemon that's brought out um in the battle um so obviously here uh squirtle was first so i get i had a chance to catch the squirtle there so and again he actually looks really cool so going on to the uh, to purify the purification process here, we're going to go ahead and purify the uh, Rattata that I ended up catching on the first one, um, the one that my screen recorder died here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and purify this little guy. And again, it's going to tell you that it's going to get more CP, the, the cost is going to be less to power him up, and he's going to learn a, an exclusive charge attack as well, being uh, returned. So. so yeah, that's what it looks like when it's getting purified. It actually looks really cool in my opinion. And he's going to have that little aura around uh, around him as well. Again, looks really cool. And you see I scroll down to return. Return in gyms and raids does 35 damage. And then in trainer battles, it goes up to 50. So it's a pretty, it seems like a pretty decent move for um, PvP overall. But yeah, so that's how you purify. And as you can see on screen right now, the Rattata has a little uh, symbol next to it. Now that you know it was purified while the my... Um, my Squirtle there is still Shadow, and I'm probably actually going to keep him as the uh, the Shadow. I, I, I kind of like how it looks, but yeah, I just want to make this quick video, letting you guys know exactly how the whole Team Rocket Invasion works. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.